So hey guys, it's been more than three months that I've been using this iPad Pro as my only noting device and I haven't touched notebook, paper, pen for a very long time now. And when you think about taking notes on iPad, there are two apps which are very hot right now, Notability and GoodNotes 5. Both are best out there, but those are not like a normal $1 app which you can buy without thinking because you have to spend considerable amount of money before you can even use them. So that's why in this video, we will be talking about the best iPad note taking app that you should buy right now. But first, I would like to thank Paperlike for sponsoring this video. So before using any screen protector for my iPad, I had a very slippery experience, but the moment I switched to Paperlike screen protector, I have better friction, better handwriting and better overall writing experience. So definitely try it out and the link will be in the description below. So I have divided this video into three parts. Number one, the features that every student needs present in both of these applications and how they handle it differently. Number two would be how notability wins and number three would be how good notes wins. So without any further ado, well, let's get started. So the number one would be reliability. So whenever you think about switching from a notebook to technology like iPad or note taking app, you think about how can I trust this machine? What if I lose all my notes that it took over four years of my undergrad, what if I accidentally delete some of my notes? So in this case, I think both of these apps are equally reliable. So let's say you delete accidentally one of your notebook or one of the pages of your notebook, it will go to a recycle bin or you can say trash and you have up to 30 days to recover from it. So that's why both of these apps perform equally well. And other reliability also includes, let's say you want to access these notes that you took on your iPad, on your phone or on your laptop. Then if you have MacBook or iPhone, it becomes very easy because, because both of these apps have their iPhone version as well as the Mac version. So if you don't have your iPad at the moment, you can definitely access your notes wherever you are. And this also brings one thing to our mind that if you want to access these notes on your MacBook computer, then you have to pay more for notability. So first of all, GoodNotes 5 will cost you $7.99 for the iPad version and Notability will cost you $8.99. Not much of a difference here, but if you want to get Notability on your MacBook, you have to pay $5 more. So that will cost you around $14. So that's something you should definitely think before considering. So now let's look at the user experience of both of these apps. So if you will look at GoodNotes on the left hand side and Notability on the right hand side, you will see that the header on Notability is a little bit smaller. So that means I can see a little bit more content, but it's not like a game changer. But also you will notice that the text size, or you can say the thickness of my pencil on Notability is a little bit thicker, but it's my fault. I should have used the same thickness when I was taking the same notes on both of these apps. But technically, if I increase the size of my pencil, the thickness, then it will be like the same note taking experience, or you can say the same handwriting on both of these apps. And one more thing you will notice here is that GoodNotes exposes you to a lot more options as compared to Notability. So let's say when I'm taking notes, if I want to change the thickness of a pencil, I can change it more quickly because I have three default options available here. I have three color options available here. So it's a little bit faster, but it's not much of a difference. But when you think about changing the thickness again and again, changing colors again and again, it is easier to find in GoodNotes as compared to Notability. So now let's look into the folder management on both of these apps. So you will see that I have three classes here and each of the classes have a book cover, just like the book cover I had. Just like the book cover of this classmate notebook, you can use customized book covers on GoodNotes app, but that's not present in Notability. So this makes GoodNotes a little bit better and it makes me easier to find my classes and it's like a better experience. So GoodNotes definitely wins in this category. Next is speed. So which of these two apps allows me to take notes faster and the winner is GoodNotes 5 because it has a better eraser. So let me give you an example. So let's say that I am writing something and I want to erase it. I can either use double tap to switch to eraser or I can select the eraser from the menu. Either way, when I switch to eraser, I erase the text. It automatically switches back to the pencil. So I don't have to double tap again or I don't have to deselect the eraser. So that means it is automatically deselected, but this feature is not present on Notability. So overall, when you're like switching again and again, it's like a faster experience and you can write things faster and erase quickly. Other than that, if you don't have double tap, to erase feature. You can also use three fingered undo that will also do the job, but eraser is very handy sometimes. And also talking about the writing experience. And I have felt personally that my handwriting is a little bit better on notability because when I'm writing the smoothness, so the slipperiness while I'm typing, or you can see the friction that is offered a little bit more in notability. It's just maybe I am thinking like that, but I have seen other YouTubers have also said the same that they had a little bit better handwriting on notability as compared to GoodNotes 5. And now another feature that I want to talk about is handwritten text to a type text. So if you want to convert, let's say that something that you have written with your hand on each of these apps to text so that you can 
see it in typed form, then you have the option available on GoodNotes for free. So let's say I select a handwritten text, then I convert it to text and I can copy paste and send it via WhatsApp, Messenger, etc., or email, etc. But if I want to do the same on Notability app, I will have to pay for it. So they asked me about $3 more if I want to convert the handwritten text to like a type text. So, that, so that's a bummer because Notability is already expensive and asking for more money for each of its features. And same is applicable for searching through handwritten notes, which is free on GoodNotes 5 as well and works seamlessly. And now number five is the level of customization I get on each of these apps. So let's say that I have a notebook which has different color of paper. So one, uh, one page could be white in color, next page could be black in color and they could have different colors of pens, highlighters associated with it. And also I can keep pages in different orientation. One could be horizontal, one could be vertical in GoodNotes 5, but that's not possible on Notability because they keep things consistently. If you have a notebook white in color, it will stay all the way in white in color. And if you have a notebook in black in color, then it will stay black. But the problem with this is that if you want to copy a page in Notability's notebook, which is in black in color to a Notability's notebook, which is white in color. So you will lose the consistency there because you either have to change the color of the text or change the color of the entire notebook. So this is a bummer and it, it, it wastes a lot of your time when you're copying and pasting things from one notebook to the other. So that's why once again, Notability wins here. So now talking about multitasking, both of these apps handle it differently. So first talking about Notability. So let's say that if you want to see two notebooks at once, so you'll have to slide from the left hand side, pick up any other notebook, book, etc and then drag and drop to left or right side, you will be able to see two at once and you can make changes in both together. It could be one, one side could be questions, next side could be answers and you can multitask. But GoodNotes handle it differently. So in GoodNotes, I can open a new window of GoodNotes app. So that means I can open the same notebook that I had opened in GoodNotes on the left side and same on the right side. So what happens sometimes is that you have a notebook with five pages and you want to make changes in the first and the fourth page together. Because let's say you have a, a book you're reading, you want to read the fourth and the fifth page together. You cannot do on Notability, but you can do on GoodNotes 5 and you can write and draw on both of those pages simultaneously. So that's the best part about GoodNotes. And now next would be drawing shapes such as square, circle, pie chart, histograms, etc. I will say both of these apps do it exceptionally well. Both have different way of drawing shapes though. In GoodNotes, I have to use the shape tool and then I can draw a circle, square, whatever I want to easily. But on the other hand, on Notability, I have to use the normal pencil. I don't have to switch to shape tool. I can use the normal pencil. If I'm writing something, then I can first hold and then it will automatically become straight line. If I want, if I'm drawing circle, I will draw a normal circle and hold, it will become a, a like a symmetric circle. So it's, I think faster in notability because you don't have to switch between pencil and shape tool again and again, but it's, I think personal preference. You can, you could choose one or the other, but both will do exceptionally well. So now let's say that you are an artist, you'd like drawing shapes and you also want to color it. So you can definitely color it on both of those apps using highlighter, but the problem in notability here is you don't have the option to erase one type of stroke because let's say I only want to erase highlighter and both are kind of mixed then I will have a trouble. Then it will be possible for me to erase only the highlighted portion or the pencil part or kind of both, but this feature is not available on Notability. So that's a bummer. So GoodNotes definitely wins in this category as well. There's one more thing about scanning documents. Let's say you have been given an assignment in the form of paper. You want to take a picture and type on that assignment through your iPad. That will be a little bit faster on GoodNotes as compared to Notability because the camera option is right available. And also they have a gallery view using which you can just pick up one of the photo and drag and drop to your notebook or to your page. So it will be like two to three second difference. But if you are doing it again and again, then GoodNotes will be much faster. But I prefer the document scanning on Notability as it's more accessible in the notes as compared to GoodNotes. And now overall, we have talked about tons of features that everyone needs. And in most of the cases, GoodNotes does it better. But now let's talk about the features. Only Notability does it better. So number one feature is recording text. So let's say you are in a classroom and if you want to see and go back what the professor was saying when you were writing something, you can go back in history and hear what the professor said. You first have to take permission of a professor for sure that, hey, can I record the lecture, just the audio portion of it? And then you can simultaneously sync 
the uh, the voice of your professor and the notes you were taking at that timestamp. So it is definitely helpful, but it's not a game changer. Do you know why? Because you can do screen recording in your iPad and you can you can do like voice recording through that as well. So that was for notability. Now let's talk about the features where good notes have an edge and the features list is probably way longer as compared to notability. So now number one is opening PDFs directly through good notes app. So let's say you are browsing on the web through Safari or Chrome or you have some PDFs on on your file manager app you can open it directly on good notes and there's an option available right there so let's say you want to download this entire page of safari you can open it directly on good notes and make changes onto it or from file manager you have a book that you're reading you can open it directly on good notes so good notes wins in this category and on the other hand on notability you have to import it manually after opening the app so that's a hassle now next feature in which good notes wins is the presenter mode so this comes with the presenter mode let's say you are presenting and sharing your ipad screen while your let's say your macbook or or you are just presenting ipad screen through zoom call etc you can use this presenter tool and pinpoint uh, let's say this bullet point or you can draw it through this presenter tool which will come temporarily for two to three seconds so it's very very handy and i really enjoy using it and when you're teaching a class while sharing a screen this will definitely be very very helpful now the sidecar functionality i think notability is far far behind than good notes in terms of smooth experience when you are drawing on your macbook using your ipad there's no lag even you can use double tap feature to erase in this sidecar functionality, but that's not possible on Notability. So again, good notes wins. So that will be a wrap up for both of these apps. And you have clearly seen that the features list is first of all longer for good notes. And for most of the features, good notes perform better as well. But the only reason why I have to use good notes is for uh, making shapes. I think it does it better because it's a little bit faster. So that's the only reason I had to pay $14 for notability but none of these apps will work well if you don't have the paper like screen protector because otherwise you will not have the sound of paper you will not have the feel of paper and also you will not have a smooth handwriting experience and not just that paper like screen protector not just prevents the glass but also prevents from fingerprints so definitely try it out and the link will be in the description below for ipad pro ipad 10.2 inch or any kind of ipad so go for it so that's pretty much it thanks so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one goodbye